sweaty head on me. This is the face of an Irish person who's out walking in the heat. We don't do well, we just go purple. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I, I'm in the sun and it's January that I'm so happy. Okay, I'm gonna move. I was out walking this morning. I just, I just like to ramble and I love not knowing where I'm going. So that's hence the sweaty head. So this week I have a travel vlog for you because last minute I decided that I wanted to leave the country because I know I've said it in past videos, but when it comes to winter, it's long in Ireland and we love a bit of winter sun and things, I look it up. Actually, as I was leaving Ireland on the Friday, they announced that the pubs were open till late now, not just this eight o'clock crack. And yeah, they lifted loads of restrictions. Now there's still restrictions for international travel. Um, it's the same as last time when I went to Corfu, I think that was in October. Um, it's the same restrictions for that. So you still have to show documentation when you leave the country and enter the country and you have to fill in your passenger locator form for both countries. So the same as the last time. So first of all, I'm on the island of Tenerife. I have been on some of the Canary Islands before. I've been to Lanzarote when I was younger. I have been to Gran Canaria, Las Palmas, Gran Canaria. I've been to that island a good few times in my 20s, but I never rambled them. I always, when I was younger in my 20s, I was like, why didn't you appreciate it? But I would just sit by the pool, which is fair enough, but maybe because I'm a bit older, I like to have a bit of a ramble. So Tenerife has, it, oh, okay, I read this on the plane, so it might not be true, fact check me. The third highest volcano or the third biggest volcano in the world. The other two volcanoes are in Hawaii, I think, and this is the highest peak in Spain and third biggest volcano, I'm not sure. I'm actually going to see the volcano tomorrow, so we will go and do that trip together. I booked myself another, I'm, I'm getting jammy with the rooms because there, I feel like there's this small window of opportunity where you can travel and get more bang for your book. I do think prices are gonna go up, but I booked my flights last minute and I got them reasonable. I'm not gonna say cheap, I'm just gonna say reasonable. I'm all inclusive in Ken. I'm staying in this like bougie resort it's very family, but I'm in an adult only section. So I paid extra to be in this swim up room. So my room has its own swimming pool. Well, you share it. There's four rooms this side. There's people out sunbathing, but I will show you the room right now. And yeah, it's got its own pool and it's all inclusive. But again, I like when I went to Corfu in October, I'd never be able to get these rooms if it was normal. It's just because I think the prices are low to obviously encourage people to travel and I'm sold. <laughs> so I booked a trip to, um, tomorrow to go to Mount Teddy, Teddy, Mount Teddy. I will learn how to pronounce that proper and there's cute villages. So basically I'm going up the mountains and I want to explore some villages up there. And then on Friday I booked a full day trip to go to an island, La Gomera, and it's a little island across I think I can see it from here, but a ferry brings you over and then it's a day trip on this, like full of nature, full of green, um, it's quite high as well. And then, yeah, when I'm rambling to cute places, I've seen people hiking, right outside my door there's a gate and you just um, you press this, there's a button in your tag technology and you um, can go outside and I've seen, I walk down to the marina today but you can go the other way and there is a nature reserve it's like a 20 minute walk and i'm gonna do that one of the mornings as well so i will find some cute places my hotel is the baia 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 principe fantasia basically i'm not in golf de sur i think it's the name of the place i chose not to stay in a built-up area like Playa de las Americas and Costa a JJ on making an absolute arse of pronouncing them but I wanted to stay away from touristy kind of clubby like places I wanted to kind of be somewhere a bit quieter but it seems to be quite nice here like it's it's quite family it's quite quiet um how I want it enough waffling here's my bougie room okay I'm not sure if my microphone is going to pick up on my voice but a little room tour bathroom and the actual toilet and shower is in there because here there's like a you can lift this up and you can see in so quite bougie i do like it um little coffee nook here it's grand um love all the light pine like scandy wood it's quite modern look at the size of that bed like lost 
how cute is this? Like, this is fab. And then I've got a work desk. I've got a little lounge area, which is tray nice. And when you open them curtains and that door, I have my own swimming pool. But there's two couples sunbathing, so I don't want to kind of be interrupting them. So what I'll do is, in the morning when it's quiet, I will get a shot of that insert here. So the hotel I stayed in was very like family friendly but it was also nice for solo travellers as well because I kind of just like blended in. There was also a castle in the middle and I was like my niece and nephew would absolutely love it but down towards the sea part is like an adult only kind of section and this is just a look around kind of the area that I was staying in so there was a lovely walk along the cliff and I walked down to like the marina and a lot of people were kind of hiking this area because it just it was just so pretty. The area is called Golf de Sur so it is very popular with people kind of going golfing but it's also just nice and quiet and peaceful but the popular area to stay in Tenerife is Las Americas and Los Cristianos I think it's called looks really nice one of the days on the excursion we collected some people there and the harbour is there to get the ferry and it was really nice and Costa Adeque I think it's called I was calling it something wrong and um, so down the south those are kind of more popular areas and they are more busy if you do want to check those out. You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed I'll put the TV in the room We'll have a Netflix marathon Kenny G saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone Good morning. We are going to the mountains. It's still dark. It's just after seven. I got up at like half six. I'm like, we're on holidays. We don't have to do that, but early bird. So we're going to Mount Tede. I think it's called Tede. Teed Tede. Tede. When you go up there, let me prop you down. Sorry about the lighting. I only have the, um, what you call the light on? The. Ooh. When you go up the mountain, if you want to use the cable car, you have to pay extra for that. Of course you do. You have to pay extra for everything in life. <laughs> but I'm not doing the cable car because I've, I'd rather see more villages. But there is different like excursions. So the one I'm going on brings me to Masca and a couple of other little villages. So I want to see that mountainous kind of area. So that tour is like perfect for me. But there is people who will bring you up to the mountain and then you can do the cable cart. And if you want to hike to the top, you need a permit and you need to get it one month in advance. So you can hike to the summit, the peak, that's what she call it. And the cable car will get you so far and then you hike the rest of what you need a permit. They won't just let you ramble up on a whim. So just a heads up for anyone who's like, oh, I'm going to hike it one month in advance. Um, you need to get the permit or else just get the cable car. And there's loads of trails around there. Like in February, I was up at a mountain in Switzerland. And I love the mountains. It's nice to be up there. But I was like, I've been up a mountain. I've been up many a mountain. I'd rather go to all the little villages along the way instead because the villages are my kind of vibe. So <laughs> I'm going to get my breakfast because when you're on that all you can eat, I make time. That's why I'm up extra early so I can eat my breakfast. So I'm going to get my belly full and then... The guide is going to pick me up at, I think, 10 to 8. And then off to the mountains. I knew I forgot something. So, when you go up the mountain, it is chilly. So, for example, it was 22 down here on the coast yesterday. So, they're like, it's about, it's probably going to be like 12 degrees, 10 to 12 degrees. And when you go up to the very top, there is snow on the mountain. So... <laughs> Guess who didn't bring a jacket? So I had to go to the market yesterday and I got this big, like, chunky scarf. I'm hoping I can kind of fantastically put around me with like a scarf. I'll be warm, be totally fine. And then, off topic, there was a little charity shop and it was for cats. Of course, a cat welfare charity shop and 
I got this cute little dress for six euro. A little thrifted find. Sorry, the buttons are open in the front because I was trying it on. I was like delighted with that. Six euro. And it fits. Um, a bit tight in the boobs, but it's in my life. Okay, if you're going up the mountain, bring a jacket or a jumper. Don't go up like me with nothing. Gonna put my blanket. <laughs> On this tour, the first place we stopped was a little village called Maska, and it was so pretty. We got half an hour to spend here, which is plenty of time because it is quite small. It's also quite steep. <laughs> so I spent most of my half an hour walking around sweating, but it's absolutely beautiful to see. So in the town of Maskell, you get half an hour to spend, which is plenty. The one thing I will say is, it's very steep and hilly. I now have to walk all the way back up to the bus, which will probably take me my last 15 minutes to do. But it's very pretty. I don't know if you can hear like the chickens in the background, um, but it's very nature, very pretty. Well worth the stop. The streets are very narrow though, so I do recommend getting a tour. You can drive it, but I wouldn't. We then had a pee pee stop, which was needed, in a kind of like souvenir slash kind of cafe, which was great because you could get some coffee. And we also got to try some of the like local liqueurs and stuff before we headed up to the mountain. Now, the weather changes. So you'll see in this section of the vlog, it's like one minute cloudy, one minute sunny, and the temperatures change drastically as well. But it was so pretty to see and we were like in our kind of little bus tour most of the time, so it wasn't too cold. But yeah, lots of time to ramble and we got a full hour up at the top of the mountain so you could get lunch and you could have a ramble around. So it is very pretty here and um, with the tour guide you get like an hour here so I just grabbed some food always eating and yeah you can ramble around now what I would say is I'd love to hike this or not even hike just walk but the tour guide was kind of saying it's a, it's a place for people to kind of get lost <laughs> that's something I do like I don't mind getting lost at home but search and rescue in Tenerife sounds expensive. <laughs> We are going on a jeep safari, but for today's trip, I'm sorry, it's another early morning. Why I get up early on holidays, I don't know. Passport, yep. Um, you need your passport if you're going to Lagomera Island. So today is a jeep safari, and the bus, I got free breakfast, the bus is gonna pick me up at, I think, quarter to eight. 
and it's a full day so you get to go to Lagomera, you get a fast ferry which is 40 minutes. There is other slower ferries so fast ferry 40 minutes then a jeep brings us around the island. The island is like its own biosphere. I was reading up about it it's like protected and it has its own rainforest and it's, it's like a smaller island like it takes an hour to go from one side to the other so it's much much smaller than here so that's the plan let's go another thing i need to remember before i go anyway like every day i wake up i count the new bites i currently have i've got one oh that's itchy one two three four <laughs> i can see you flying around six where did I go for five six i'm like my knees getting <laughs> seven eight nine ten on this arm i have a bite in my groin and i had a flag it in there last night i don't know it's cobwebs down there <laughs> i got this cream in the chemist well it's not the good stuff i got good stuff when i was in uh Corfu that time, the hydro cortisone, whatever that that knocked them out within two minutes. But no, they gave me this after bite stuff. Anyway, shown the world my bites, but they love me. When I was younger, I never used to get bit, but oh my god, I must be on the Guinness I drink. They're like, oh, oh. we got some Irish blood, full of Guinness and tea. Sure, look, it's only on one arm as well. Also. Just like the other trip that I took, when you go up high, it's obviously cooler. And where there's more green, your man was saying, it does be slightly cooler. So I'm bringing the L scarf. And my scarf was grand the other day. I just hope it doesn't rain. That's the only thing. Um, also, the weather, it did rain yesterday, but not like Irish rain. <laughs> it was just a shower and a past and there was blue skies. Um, it's actually rained twice since I've been here. There's the little bug. See him? Did you see him? Did I see you. Stop eating me. So I think this was my favorite trip that I have done in a long, long time. So the day starts with getting picked up and then you go on the ferry. The ferry is about 40 minutes. It's a fast ferry. Now, I don't know if it was the morning time, but it was a bit wobbly. So if you suffer with maybe travel sickness, I don't recommend this day trip for you because you're in like an old Land Rover or Range Rover kind of Jeep, um, which is needed because the roads are so narrow and steep and there's lots of driving around. So actually one of the poor girls in my like Jeep was like on the travel sickness tablets so <laughs> just a heads up we stopped at an aloe vera plantation and it was i've never seen obviously aloe vera planted outside because it's like an indoor plant in ireland so yeah they, we got a demonstration and i actually brought back a little aloe vera plant For the rest of the afternoon after our lunch, we were driven around to all of the kind of like beauty hot spots and beauty points on the island and we went to Laguna Grande and if you love your nature, you will love this spot but you can see as well the weather has changed because we were up so high but it's like a 
like forest not touched this is how it should look like it's just been left to its own devices loads of nature I was loving this and after we left here we visited another kind of beauty spot and then we headed back down to the town where we had an hour before we got back onto the ferry to be brought back to our hotels and that town is really pretty and colorful but again an hour an hour and a half is plenty and um, because it's not that big of a town but if you like pretty streets I think you'll enjoy it just spent my last I got a late checkout so I have to be out here at three I've got ten minutes left so I said I'll come in and end my vlog I just want to apologize about the sound the camera that I bring away when I'm traveling is much smaller and I did get a new microphone for it but it's a heap of shite and I noticed that there's like a tss, I just started editing the video before um this morning and I noticed that there was like a sound just when I'm talking to camera so apologies for that I need to refund my microphone and get a new one. So I hope you enjoyed the ramble and the bit of sun. I was actually watching the news last night and it was saying that the like east coast of America was getting crazy storms and snowstorms in New York um, and I think New Jersey and the east coast was getting some like horrific snowstorms. So <laughs> I feel very lucky that I can hop on a plane and four hours later I'm in the sun. I hope this is a little bit of escapism and if you are snowed in anywhere or I think there was like a storm as well in like Scotland I was like whoa the weather's crazy. I feel very privileged to be in the sun in January. Also I just wanted to say that travel and especially travel kind of post-covid well you know what I mean when I say that I know it's not over but it can be quite fatiguing and I did kind of pick up on people being kind of a bit more agitated than normal and um, because obviously traveling now there's more kind of paperwork and busyness and I could sense it do you know what I mean and I was like what's my thing for the new year it's like be the tree so whatever's going on around me just stay grounded and rooted in your own be the tree <laughs> whenever I get agitated in public or like if there's a queue where people are being touchy I'm like be the tree be the tree <laughs> it kind of works it does work <laughs> also there is way more to see than what you've seen in this video I've literally just shared the days that I was rambling I didn't go up to the north of the island it's a little bit cooler and um, Santa de la Cruz is absolutely beautiful on picture is now it's like a two hour kind of like I was looking about getting buses so it's like two buses two hours over same thing coming back taxi would be really expensive like you're talking more than 100 euro to get to the other side so I didn't do any north kind of trips bar when I went to Mount Teddy but you can there is way more places but this is just what I got up to with the time that I had on the island and then the other days that I didn't vlog all I did was breakfast buffet pill, lunch buffet, pill, sangria, siesta, dinner buffet, sangria, <laughs> bed, <laughs> but <laughs> when I did, I would go on a walk, kind of like after breakfast, brum, after the breakfast buffet, I would have like a walk and then it would be, you know, lunch buffet, siesta, yeah, that's kind of how my holiday days go. Anyway, we should go back to Ireland now. And I'm praying that the airport is nice and calm and that I can have a nice cheeky wine on the airplane. I've got I've got like one meal left on the free buffet um thingamajiggy. 
<laughs> these are great but literally i take all you can eat too literal i am bursting out of stress well lads i'm going home next week i'll be back to the usual stuff bit of diy bit of something don't know what i'm gonna do yet but yeah tomorrow's monday back to normal i'll see you in next week's video also if you want to check out any other like solo travel vlogs most of them are solo actually i will put my travel playlist here that you can check out with some other places that i've been to that's me. I'll see you in next week's video.